I ain't even gonna hold y'all up. Man, when I tell you it is hard cooking and getting your vlog, doing a vlog on cooking, I'm gonna have to get a little bit organized on top of, I'm already organized, but get more organized on top of doing it. So this is what I've did so far. And like I said, I'm making um, electric alkaline chickpea kale soup. Um, lasagna, electric alkaline lasagna, electric alkaline spaghetti, um, quinoa burgers, and what else am I making? Kamut. So this is what I got done so far, y'all. So I'm going to show you um, how I like to do things. So I always have to clean as I go. So this is my trash. And this little bag right here so I put all my trash in here and this is what I'm gonna freeze and make um, more broth so I save the ends of my greens the stems and I freeze them and then when I make more broth I use this and this is from the broth uh -oh. See all these dishes all stuff piled up this is the broth the scraps that I made the, my broth today out of. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to freeze this and when the trash falls out, I'll take this off too. So I'll put that over there. So here I have, I still have to make my rice. It still needs like a couple of hours. It's wild rice. I have like uh, probably another four or five hours soaking that. And this is for my burgers. And this has mushrooms, peppers, and onions in it. And I'm making some quinoa burgers. And then I have some more. This is for my lasagna. This is everything. I'm making a little personal lasagna for someone. So I have the peppers. And I have the onion. And then I have the mushrooms. And I still have to make my noodle for the lasagna. And I'm gonna do a video on that. This is hard, y'all. I give big ups to people who make these videos and vlog the whole thing and edit the whole thing. That's what I have to get, get good at is editing. And I do have a channel. Um, I'm gonna link it below. I have like 650 something subscribers on that channel and it was my natural hair channel when I first started my natural hair journey. I was loose natural for um, probably like eight years and then I locked my hair two years ago. So now here's my pasta. Remember that pasta sauce I was telling y'all about? So this is a big old thing of pasta sauce. So this is gonna be for my spaghetti and my lasagna. That's for. And that's on low simmering. And then I have my soup. So this is gonna be my wild rice soup. And I still have to put more wild rice in it. I put some in it, but I have to add some more. Soup. And I have my kale sauté. I've been cooking for huh, about two hours and I still need to make salad because I'm making salad with this meal prep for my friend. Um, cut up some watermelon, cut up some my, the, my cantaloupe and yeah make the salad. So like I said, big ups to those who make these vlogs with cooking and their editing. It takes a real skill to, you know, do a bomb video with editing and stuff like that. I'll get good at it um, one day, but right now, child, whoo, y'all about to get the raw and uncut. And I'm going to try to do more of the 
showing you how to do stuff like I'll do like small recipes like today I'm gonna do um, I have to do a hemp seed milk so I'll do that <clears throat> and I'll do how I make my lasagna noodle I'll do that as well but quick things like that like I made a pancakes the other day that was kind of simple easy but when you're making like meals like lasagna spaghetti you know you have to have, do a lot of cutting so I've cut up tomatoes onions mushrooms peppers um, I clean my kale I had to do that so that's a lot of footage right there but like I said I'll, I'll get good one day y'all um, I need to hire um, a camera person because Michael he's in the room chilling right now but he's been helping me out a little bit as um, far as like cleaning up making like after I make a mess or whatever because I do not like to cook in a dirty kitchen like I have to clean as I go and I'll use multiple um, pots pans for multiple items just so I won't have like 12 dirty pans I just I can't deal I can't work in the kitchen like that and I have to work in the kitchen that's clean already the kitchen's not clean already I'm not motivated at all to cook and I know y'all ladies out there feel me on that like especially when my kids was in the house and <clears throat> they're all grown now and have their own homes I used to be like on my way home like that kitchen better be clean y'all want me to cook you know cuz who wants to cook in a, a dirty kitchen not I so how's everyone Sunday doing mine as you can see I'm having fun though I'm actually really having fun cooking and taking my time that's the thing I don't like to be rushed when I'm doing something like this I like to you know <clears throat> space out a whole day where where I'm just doing that so I could like take breaks figure out my next move on what I'm gonna make especially when I'm making multiple things yeah but my pasta sauce y'all looking bomb and sometimes when I make this I if I don't have like something big to make I'll freeze the rest of it and I'm going to work on that especially when it starts getting warm outside it's cold outside is working on getting like a whole bunch of pasta sauce made a whole bunch of saute vegetables made where I could just break it out the freezer and or can it canning is going to be the key too. I seen a lady the other day um oh what is her name I'm gonna have to link it below if I remember she canned um chicken legs and they were raw when she um canned them and I was like wow I never knew you could can chicken legs you know I don't eat like that anymore but she is trying to be more self-sufficient since all this stuff is going on, you know, so she could have, like, food. You know, she has a farm. I'm not... I have to link her her, um, her information down below, but she can turkey meat, chicken legs, she, like, everything that you could can. But there's, like, a method behind it because you can't just put fruits and vegetables and meats and stuff inside of a mason jar and call it a day it is a method behind it and there's plenty of youtubers out there that are showing you how excuse me to can stuff and um like that but i'm gonna get into it i want to get into it especially this year with everything that went on um we're looking at food shortages we're looking at stuff because people can't ship out because of COVID. So they're not shipping stuff. And it's making it hard for people to really eat. So we got to learn how to start canning. We got to learn how to start gardening. We got to learn how to start doing a lot of stuff like that. So I'll probably have a part. This is going to be part two. I'll probably have a part three where I'm showing the hemp seed um, milk and showing the lasagna noodle until I just get the hang of it because it's a lot you you know because I can't really do anything on this camera you know I gotta wash my hands I gotta put on gloves I gotta sanitize clean by, um, as I go especially when you're cooking food for other people you want to make sure um, 
your cleaning is up to par. You know, you can't just be rubbing your face and doing all that stuff and when you're doing other people's food your food okay cool you know do what you want to do but when you're putting food out there and other people are eating it even you know it's just you got to get into that habit you know and i really do have a good habit of doing that for my family as well like making sure my hands is clean and making sure stuff is cleaned up behind myself but when you're cooking food for other people you know, you want to be on top of your game when it comes to sanitation, cleaning, um, organization, and just making sure stuff comes out right. Because you don't want to be the, the who made that macaroni? <laughs> you don't want to be that family member or that person or have that restaurant where they like, don't get the macaroni, girl. Don't get them greens. You know, I had a big thing because I worked in a restaurant for a long time. Um, actually it was at Applebee's in Indiana I worked for a long time and I worked in other restaurants too and I remember when people used to ask me how certain things would taste you know like oh how is this and I'll just be like <laughs> that's all I had to say like I ain't gonna speak bad on it but you don't want it and they'd be like oh thank you girl thank you thank you you know cuz people know when stuff is bold you know there's no um, big secret to that so yeah I'm going to let me see how long I got oh this is 11 minutes that's a pretty decent video I'm going to end this one off and I'll see you in part three